Hello everyone, Jonathan Real Chandur here. And today I want to talk about bug reporting. This is an interesting issue. Now, one thing to remember is that most of us are probably running on a Windows computer. Most of your bugs, if it's the game crashing, freezing, locking up, slowing down, or a memory leak, are probably unrelated to the game at all. I know this sounds weird, but I'm going to try to explain some of these things, and hopefully we can help coordinate bug reports for much better efficiency. First thing I want to cover, because it's been a recent issue in the forums with people and, well, a major headache. Let's just say your virus suddenly detected Starpoint Gemini 2 as a virus. Don't panic. I can almost guarantee you that what you've got is a heuristic scan false positive. Before you say anything on the forums, before you submit a bug report, submit the virus scan and the quarantine file to your antivirus manufacturer. This is information they want and that they can do something with. They will check the file much more thoroughly than a heuristic scan can and then report to you back on whether or not yes this is a virus or no this is a not a virus. And chances are it's not a virus. I could go into a very in-depth explanation on why it just detected this game as a virus but that would honestly be a huge waste of time. There are plenty of articles on the internet about this, videos on YouTube, information on antivirus sites. In the end, before you post that your antivirus has detected the game as a virus, talk to your antivirus manufacturer first. On that note, should your game, well, computer suddenly start freaking out, messing up after the antivirus removed the file after you ran it. Again, this is not the game's or the developer's fault. They did not remove the file in mid-use. The antivirus did. This is more information that your antivirus manufacturer wants. Send them this information too that when it removed the file it did something to your computer and forcing you to either reinstall Windows, reformat, or something along those lines. It's very important to make the distinction between who has control over what. If it's obviously something that the game developer, in this case LGM, didn't intend, a, an antivirus or third-party software removing the file or detecting it as something, then there's really nothing they can do about it. All they can tell you is what I've just told you. Talk to your antivirus manufacturer. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about memory leaks. Let's say you're playing the game, everything's going smooth, and then suddenly the game starts to slow down starts to slow to a crawl, things start loading wrong, and eventually the game crashes. You've just found a memory leak. Now, again, you're probably running a Windows computer. In which case, if you open your task manager, you're going to see this huge list of programs that are running in the background with Starpoint Gemini 2. There is a strong chance that one of these programs is interfering with the running of Starpoint Gemini 2 to cause this memory leak. 
So when you report this, unless you have some major security issues or are just super paranoid, try to send a list of all the background programs you have running as well. This way when they get the report, they can look at it and say, huh, what other reports we have that are similar to this and what's something they all have in common. And they can go through this list of programs and say, hey, they all have X program running in the background. Let's try and see if we can't get our hands in X program and see what happens when we run it with that. And then they can start testing to s eliminate possible external influences on the game because one of the main issues is when they run the game they don't have these memory leaks. They can run it for twice, three times as long with the exact same hardware setup that they get in their logs and have no issue. This means that there's a software problem and because LGM's not a prying company they don't take a full list of your task manager. They could if they wanted to but no one wants that. That's People feel like that's an invasion of privacy, and in some cases it can be because you might have programs running in the background you don't want people to know about. So, if you're running into a memory leak, please try sending in a list of your external programs that are running alongside the game, or, if possible, Try disabling some of them that you know aren't important. For example, if you're not currently browsing the web, try disabling your antivirus and see if you continue to get the issue. If you don't, you can even send a report in saying, hey, I've just found that this program is causing a memory leak in your game. And they can actually work to try and fix it on their side or work with the program maker on their side. It's a nice, simple, elegant solution, and one that will fix a lot of headaches. Now this is also a possible cause of game crashing, game freezing, stuttering, things of that nature. One way to tell if it's the game or your computer when your game is freezing or crashing is all computers have a hard drive light. You'll often see it blinking. That's because it's reading information off the hard drive. Now if you see this light go a solid, just turn on and stay on, that means your computer is suddenly just reading straight from your disk. That's going to cause anything to have problems. So, that could be a problem with the game. It could be a problem with your computer it's hard to tell. In that situation, if you're going to send a bug report, tell them that it appears that your computer is constantly reading from the hard disk when it happens. This will give them at least a little more information to go on and hopefully help solve the issue. Now, another important thing to do before reporting a bug is check the game forms, both the official and the Steam. Look in the bug reports and the general discussion sections. See if your problem's been reported before and see if there's been a solution found. If there has, check out the solution and see if it works for you. I know this seems like a simple step for most people, but there are some people that don't do this. I'm hoping that maybe having it in a video like this will help people realize sometimes there's already been a solution found to your problem. Now, one other cause of crashes that I just became aware of is DirectX. Now, let's say you're a person that never updates your video drivers for whatever reason. Windows can detect when you're not updating your video drivers because NVIDIA, 
and other video driver companies send a report to Windows saying, hey, we've just updated our driver to this version, and Windows keeps tabs on that. When a driver gets too old, it will unsign it. And for some games, this will cause an issue and cause the game to crash. It doesn't happen for every game, but it does for some. If you're having an immediate or near immediate crash when you launch the game, the first thing you should try to do is update your video card driver. If you do not know what your video card is, simply click on the start button on your computer and in the search area type in DXDIAG and hit enter. This will bring up a program called DX Diagnostics. If this is your first time running the program, it will ask you if you want to check to see if all your things are digitally signed. Say yes. Next, you can go to the display portion of this and see what video card you have installed. From there, you can go to your video card manufacturer's website, get the driver update that's right for your card, and then check and see if that was a problem. If not, the next step is to unplug any controllers or joysticks from your computer. Now note that something like the Razer Nostromo counts as a controller. So if you have something like that, unplug it too. And then try restarting and running the game again. Now only if you're still getting a crash will you send a bug report and make sure that you send the log with it. That log contains all the information they need to try and diagnose the problem. If all you're sending is how your game is crashing, there's nothing they can do. The log file can be found in the root directory of your game. If you install through Steam, this will be under uh, Computer Gateway, oh, sorry, C Drive, I have a gateway computer. Program Files x86 if you're running a 64-bit system or program files if you're not. Steam, let me just find it here. Then go through Steam until you find Steam Apps, Common, go to the game name, in this case Starpoint Gemini 2, and in this folder you will find a text file called Log. Feel free to look at it yourself, it's very technical, but if you know a thing or two about computers, you might be able to use this to diagnose the problem yourself. But if not, make sure you send this file with your bug report so that they have something to go on. If your game did not generate a log report, make sure you run the game or Steam as an administrator. The game uses a th external console program to generate log reports and for this to run it needs administrative privilege privileges. Sometimes. Sometimes not. Again, every computer is different and this is why bug reporting is a very difficult situation. Now these things that I've mentioned are all this might be a bug, this might be my computer things. Let's get into things that we know are bugs. Let's say you're in game, you shoot a ship, and blow it up, and its corpse just keeps floating there at 0% health. That's obviously something in the game that's wrong. In this situation, send the bug report with the log, and they'll look into it immediately. I mean, if it's something that's obviously in-game, you can recreate it, and you can tell without a doubt it's not something external on your computer causing it, by all means, send a bug report and let them know what's up. Also, check the forums before you make a post about it, and see if there's already a post about it, and just add to that post. 
Keeping forum clutter down is important for developers because the more posts they are, the harder it is to go through it. And LGM is about a 15-man team. They're working on a brand new engine, the Whale 2 engine, which is what Starpoint Gemini 2 is made with. So while they're adding stuff to the game, they're adding stuff to the engine as well. So bugs are obviously going to crop up and you know, being a 15-man team working on this sort of thing is going to cause a lot of problems with reading bug reports, addressing them in a swift fashion, especially if they're getting their own false positives from external programs interfering with the game. So make sure you do everything on your end to determine if it's you or the game that's actually having the bug. Because it's very likely an external program causing an issue with the game if it's a game crash, a memory leak, the game freezing, the game stuttering, or anything like that. Even if you see like numerous threads on the forums complaining about the same problem you're having, if it's not everyone complaining, then there's probably a common thread between the people reporting the bug and what's on their computer. I mean, that's, that's basically all I can say on this subject. So, if you're going to report a crashing bug, send in information about background programs you have running. If it's something your antivirus has done, talk to your antivirus manufacturer. They're the only ones that can help with that. LGM has no control over what your antivirus does. And Steam is very unlikely to let a virus onto their network because it's a civil lawsuit nightmare. <laughs> Nothing in their EULA will protect them if they let a virus onto someone's computer. So, talk to your antivirus manufacturer first if that's the thing, reporting something, removing the program, or whatever. If it's a game crash, check external programs, send in that information, and also check to see if it's a DirectX problem by updating drivers and things of that nature. Just, let's try to help keep the number of bug reports to a legitimate number of bug reports. Reports that are actually about the game itself and not about something that could be causing the game to have problems. Because they simply do not have the manpower or the money at LGM to test every piece of software, every computer configuration to see is this pro possibly the problem. However, all of us gamers, together, we are that manpower. We are the ones that can help find these issues if we work together and with the company and get these issues solved a lot faster. So, I'm going to end this one here. I'm going to get back to real tutorials after this, but this is one that I I felt that needed to be touched on because there are a lot of bug reports coming in about things that aren't actually bugs and things that can't be recreated on their end. And yet other people can recreate them and other people can't. So, yeah. With this, I'm going to call this one here. Bid you guys adieu. As always, leave comments and questions down below or in the Steam forum thread. Thank you for watching.